Once upon a time, there was a boy from a very poor family. His family was so poor that his parents could not afford to send him to school. The boy wanted to learn so badly that he often stood outside the classroom and listened to the lesson through the window. Soon he learned to read and write very well. The teacher noticed it and said to the boy's parents, Your son is very talented. One day he could have a very successful life. The parents worked very hard and saved every penny so that the boy could pay for school and attend classes. Every day the boy got up at dawn because the school was far away. By the side of the road to school there was a figure of a dog made out of stone. And every day the dog wagged his stone tail at the boy which scared the other students. Our boy did not notice anything because he was studying the whole way to school. One day, his friend showed him the dog wagging his tail. Many students walk this road. Why only wag your tail at me? asked the boy. The stone dog pointed his paw to the sky and said, I know that the King of Heaven had entered your name into the heavenly book and confirmed that after passing the exam, you will become a wise man, a mandarin. Therefore, I welcome my future master. The boy told his parents, who were very happy with the news. From that day on, the boy's father changed a lot. He became proud. He felt as if he were already the Mandarin's father, even as he was herding the cows. On the way to the pasture, his cows now trampled other people's rice fields. The boy's father ignored their complaints. One day, he even told the despaired peasant, This year, my son will pass the exam for a mandarin, and then you will see what I can afford. Meanwhile, the stone dog stopped welcoming the diligent student on his way to school. The astonished boy asked, why did you stop welcoming me? The dog answered with a sad voice. Your father is rude and arrogant. He lets his cows eat grains of rice belonging to other people. Your father does other people harm instead of good. That is why the King of Heaven has crossed your name from the heavenly book. The sad boy went back home and told his parents what he had learned from the stone dog. The father understood the consequences of his behavior and apologized to everyone he had harmed, and since then he only tried to do good. Time passed, and the boy was learning diligently for his exam. Eventually, he left for the city with his own tent and bed to pass the exams. The exams are very long and difficult, but our boy passed them with flying colors and became a mandarin. Mm. 
on the way back to his village, he was welcomed by the dog, and the inhabitants of the village were proud that their neighbor became a mandarin.